Hello my friends, this is Austrian Stacker. I hope you're all doing very well. Today I want to talk about the Maria Teresa Tala. So my friends, before we start talking about all the historic details, um, and a lot of other interesting stories related to the Maria Theresa Tala. I would really like to start with the coin itself because there are a lot of interesting inscriptions on this coin. So you start reading here. I will first start uh, with the inscriptions in Latin language and then I will translate it to English. So as said, you start reading here, it says, Maria Theresia, Dei Grazia, Romanorum Imperatrix, Hungarie, Bohemiake, Regina. Then you turn it around and you continue reading here. And this means Archidux. Austria, Dux, Burgundie, Comes, Tirolis. And then you have the year 1780 and you have an X. And we will talk about this X later in detail because this X is actually what makes this a coin. So it's not a round, it's a coin but I will talk about this X afterwards in detail. So what does all of this mean? What's written here on this coin? So in English, Maria Theresa, by the grace of God, Empress of the Romans, Queen of Hungary and Bohemia. And then you have to turn it and you continue here. Archduchess of Austria and Duchess of Burgundy, Countess of Tyrol, 1780, and the X. So I said before that this little X makes the Maria Theresa Tala a coin. So why is that? This is actually the face value of the coin. What exactly does this little X mean? So this X means that already the first Maria Theresa Thaler struck in 1741 was struck according to the Reichsthaler standard with one tenth of the fine weight of a Cologne Thaler or a Vienna Thaler. And this is the reason why the Maria Theresa Thaler was used almost worldwide as trade currency or as so-called convention Thaler, because it had a defined fine silver weight and it was struck in all the mints that produced Maria Theresa Thalers according to the Reichsthaler standard. The Maria Theresa Thaler has a diameter of 42 millimeters and the purity of the Maria Theresa Thaler is 83.33% silver. Then Maria Theresa Thaler has a weight of 28.07 grams as a lot of them are very old, you can see. Sometimes you have a slight difference. In that case, it's 0 0.01 gram. But according to the Reichsthaler standard, the, the weight is 28.07. Interesting is also, um, why always the strange weights in grams? If I change my scales to troy ounces, you can see 
it's almost 0 0.9. So this is where the strange weights in grams are coming from. Um, take care. Um, I had a lot of discussions uh, with one of the viewers of my videos um, who tried to explain me that actually all of my Maria Teresa titles are fake. Um, the thing is what he didn't understand is the difference between ounces and troy ounces. <laughs> so this is something you should always have in mind um, when you measure the weight of your coins. Um, the difference between ounces and troy ounces and grams. So we are here in Europe, so usually we measure everything in grams. And so okay, I already mentioned the date 1780. Since the death of Maria Theresa in that year 1780, the coin has always been dated 1780. And the Emperor Francis Joseph of Austria, Franz Josef von Österreich. Uh, declared the Maria Theresa Thaler to be an official trade coinage and this is why this Thaler became so important and used almost worldwide. The Maria Theresa Thaler was used very long um, until the second half of the 20th century even in North Africa uh, as legal tender and also in some Arabic countries. So you can still find Maria Theresa Tars throughout the Arab world, for example, especially in Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Muscat, Oman, and in Africa, for example, in Ethiopia and in India and in a lot of other countries. The Maria Theresa Tala, and this is very interesting, was also struck in a lot of different countries, like, for example, uh, in the mints in Birmingham, in Bombay, in Brussels, in London, in Paris, in Rome, in Utrecht, but also in Günzburg, in Harlem, Tirol, in Karlsburg, Kremnitz, Milano, Prague, and in Vienna. So all of these mints produced Maria Theresa Talas, and I think this underlines the importance of the Maria Theresa Thaler as official trade coin. Interesting is also that the Maria Theresa Thaler uh, came to be used as currency in large parts of Africa and Middle East until the Second World War. It was used as legal tender, for example, in Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Mozambique, in the whole Red Sea region. The Maria Theresa Tala was also produced in Italy, but they yeah, never used it as, as legal tender in Italy. And what you can see here on the back is the Habsburg double eagle. And the double eagle represents what we call the Danube monarchy, so the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. And Maria Theresa Tala got a very interesting nickname by our British friends. They called the coin the Fat Lady. <laughs> I think it's clear <laughs> why. It's not very polite, but yeah but very British. <laughs> so this is how the Brits called the Maria Theresa Tala. What you can see here, what you can see here, I try to zoom in. So is the mint mark SF. This is actually the mint mark of the mint in Günzburg. And it refers to the two mint masters. And these gentlemen were called Schöber and Fabi. So this is, where the SF is coming from for Günzburg, Schäber and Fabi, the name of the two mint masters. After 
and Maria Theresa Tala was officially declared as a trade coin or as a convention coin. Um, also, the United Kingdom registered the Maria Theresa Tala dated 1780 as a protected coin for the purposes of part two of the forgery and counterfeiting act. So until today, the Maria Theresa Tala is a protected coin also according to British law. So how can you find out if a Maria Theresa Tala you have in your collection is a restrike or is a older version? Actually, the easiest way is to have a look at this brooch. If it looks like that, it is a restrike. And also the shape of the X. What most of the people usually do not realize is that there is also an inscription on the edge of the coin, like you can see here. Justitia et clementia, which means justice and clemency. So this is actually all I can tell about this very important Austrian coin. I think it's one of the most important in the history of Austria. All of these coins you can see here, so I'm collecting Maria Theresa Dallas. They're all restrikes from different years. Unfortunately, you can never tell from which year. And as you can see, some are in a good condition, some are in a bad condition, and a lot of them look a bit differently. So especially the older ones, you can see the quality was not as good. You can see the rim here, but you don't see it here anymore. So quality varies a lot. And also the over time, they looked a bit different. Let's see, maybe I find an older one. But still, it's a very good coin, at least here in Austria. Um, if you want to invest money, they keep the value very, very well. And yeah, if I would sell them now, most of them are sold rel about relatively cheap. Um, the price increased a lot the last few years. But be careful. This is a Genoa Maria Theresa Tala. And I've shown this in another video. This is a fake. Actually, the quality is not too bad because you can also see here all the details with the tail feathers of the eagle and so on that are on the original coin. Usually it's very easy to spot fakes because usually the fakes don't have all these, these details here on the tail feathers of the, of the eagle. So here is usually the easiest way to find out it's a fake, whether it's a fake or a genuine coin. But here it also has it. And this is why it's very important to do first the ping test. This is how genuine silver sounds. You can see completely different. And the second way how you can spot a fake Maria Theresa Teller very easily is our friend Cyber Curtain Twitcher makes this amazing magnet slides and here it's very easy to find out this is how a genuine silver coin goes down a slide a magnet slide it slows down because of the physical properties of silver in a it, it has this special reaction when it's in an magnetic field, so it slows down while it goes down the magnet slide. And this is what a fake coin does. So, <laughs> you 
in that case it's really easy to spot out the fake coin because it's magnetic and this is what silver definitely is not <laughs> so take care there are a lot of fake maria Theresa towers around um, most of them coming from eastern europe so be careful and if you have old coins like this one for example um, test them because not all Maria Theresa Talas look a bit strange or fakes as you can see here this is also a real silver coin but as said they were minted in different mints and they can be younger or older and especially the older ones sometimes are worn and tarnished and they look different like for example a relatively new restrike so be very careful with maria Theresa talas test them and i hope you like this information so please leave a comment below tell me if this information was useful or interesting and have a great sunday ahead and i hope to see you next time servus